Introduction of Texas Pecan Recipes Revised This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry Wilson Texas Pecan Recipes Revised by Texas Department of Agriculture Introduction there aren't many Texans who don't have a special liking for pecans grown in the state, usually enjoying them straight from the shell. But now more and more people are incorporating pecans in many different types of recipes. In this booklet, we have included recipes for salads, main dishes, desserts, candies, and cookies. The Texas pecan industry has grown significantly from the days when the nuts were gathered by the family and hauled to town to sell during the season. Today, modern storage facilities and packaging make them available year-round, and if purchasers store pecans properly, they will retain their fresh flavor and quality for very long periods. We hope that you find new ways to use pecans in cooking, and that you insist on Texas pecans when you shop. Reagan V. Brown, Commissioner of Agriculture The pecan is the state tree, and quite properly it is named. It was a source of food for the Indians as well as the early colonists who found the trees growing on creek and river banks. With new varieties in commercial cultivation, the pecan orchards of Texas provide a steady supply of pecans during the harvesting season from October through December. During these months, shoppers can find fresh pecans in retail outlets and can also purchase from growers themselves in many areas. Pecans are native to 152 counties in Texas and are grown commercially in the central part of the state, down on the western border and in the Trans-Pecos. Check with local farm organizations for names of producers of Texas pecans in your area. Storage. When stored properly, they retain good taste and high quality. Whether you buy a small cellophane package of shelled pecans or a five-pound bag of in-shell pecans, the best place to store them is in the freezer. Pecans can spoil quickly under warm temperatures, but will keep fresh one year at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Pecans do not have to be thawed before being added to a recipe. Even if they are not part of a cooked dish, they will thaw adequately before serving. Also, portions unused can be returned to the freezer without any loss of quality. During the holiday season, keep the pecans refrigerated, even in shell, until they are ready to be served. Texas pecans are full of food energy. They have protein, carbohydrates, calcium, iron, vitamin A, ascorbic acid, and small quantities of thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin, and they have polyunsaturated fats. End of Introduction Section 2 of Texas Pecan Recipes, Revised. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Texas Pecan Recipes, Revised by Texas Department of Agriculture. Appetizers and Salads. Cheese Log. One and a half pound grated pimento cheese. 1 half pound grated American cheese, 1 3 ounce package cream cheese, softened, 1 half teaspoon garlic juice, 3 fourths cup chopped Texas pecans, 1 fourth cup paprika. Mix all ingredients except paprika by hand. Shape into log or ball. Roll in paprika and waxed paper. Refrigerate for at least one hour. Slice thin. Serve with crackers. Salmon log. One one pound canned salmon, two cups. One eight ounce package cream cheese softened. One tablespoon lemon juice. Two teaspoons grated onion. One teaspoon prepared horseradish. One fourth teaspoon salt. One third teaspoon liquid smoke. One half cup chopped Texas pecans. Three tablespoons snipped parsley. Drain and flake salmon, removing bones and skin. Combine salmon, cream cheese, lemon juice, onion, 
horseradish, salt, and liquid smoke. Mix thoroughly. Chill several hours or overnight. Combine one-half cup chopped pecans and parsley. Shape salmon mixture into log. Roll in nut mixture. Chill well and serve with assorted crackers. Pecan Cream Cheese Ball Two eight-ounce packages cream cheese. One eight-and-a-half-ounce can crushed pineapple, drained. One cup chopped Texas pecans. One-fourth cup chopped green pepper. Two tablespoons chopped onion. One tablespoon seasoned salt. Soften cream cheese. Gradually stir in pineapple, pecans, green pepper, onion, and salt. Chill well. Form into a ball and roll in chopped pecans. Chill until serving time. Garnish with twist of pineapple slices, maraschino cherries, and parsley. Serve with assorted crackers. Pear puree salad. One one-pound can pears, reserving one cup juice, one-half cup water, one three-ounce package lime gelatin, one-fourth teaspoon lemon flavoring, two three-ounce packages cream cheese softened, one-and-a-half cups whipped topping mix, one-half cup drained and chopped maraschino cherries, one-third cup chopped Texas pecans. Drain pears, reserving one cup juice. Add water to juice and heat until boiling. Dissolve gelatin in liquid. Add lemon flavoring. Beat cream cheese into warm mixture. Mash or blend pears and fold into gelatin and cheese mixture until syrupy. Fold in whipped topping, cherries, and pecans. Pour into 8-inch square pan or a mold. Chill until set. Blueberry Salad one eight ounce can blueberries, one eight ounce can crushed pineapple, two three ounce packages raspberry flavored gelatin, one cup miniature marshmallows, three fourths cup chopped Texas pecans, one half pint whipped cream. Drain and reserve juice from blueberries and pineapple. Add enough water to juice to make four cups of liquid. Heat two cups of this liquid to boiling. Dissolve raspberry gelatin in boiling water. Add the remaining two cups liquid. Add fruit, marshmallows, and pecans. Chill until slightly congealed, then fold in whipped cream. Chill for three or four hours before serving. Pecan Cola Salad One eight-ounce can crushed pineapple. Two three-ounce packages cherry-flavored gelatin. One one-pound can cherries. Two cups. Two six-ounce colas. One half cup chopped Texas pecans. Drain juice off crushed pineapple and heat. Dissolve gelatin and juice. Add remaining ingredients. Chill until set. Cranberry Salad Delight. One small package raspberry gelatin. Three fourths cup boiling water. Three fourths cup cold water. Four cups cranberries. Two cups sugar. Two orange slices. Relish mixture. Two cups halved and seeded red grapes. One cup broken Texas pecans. One fourth teaspoon lemon rind. Mix small package of raspberry gelatin in three fourths cup boiling water until dissolved. Add three fourths cup cold water. Place in refrigerator until slightly thickened. Place cranberries, sugar, and orange slices in food processor and chop fine. Chill. Fold gelatin into relish mixture. Pour into lightly oiled two-quart mold. Chill until congealed. Yield 10 to 12 servings. Frozen Fruit Salad One number two and a half can fruit cocktail. Two three-ounce packages cream cheese. One cup mayonnaise. One half cup red cherries. One cup whipped cream. Twenty-four marshmallows. One cup chopped Texas pecans. Mix fruit cocktail, cream cheese, and mayonnaise. Add red cherries, whipped cream, marshmallows, and pecans. Freeze in ice compartment. Molded cream cheese, fruit salad. One half package, one and a half ounce, lime flavored gelatin. One cup boiling water. One cup heavy cream, chilled. One three ounce package, cream cheese, softened. One cup chopped Texas pecans. One one pound four ounce can crushed pineapple, drained. One three ounce jar maraschino cherries, 
cut into eighths dissolve gelatin in boiling water chill mixture until slightly congealed whip cream and fold cream into gelatin mixture add cream cheese blend well add pineapple maraschino cherries and pecans mix well pour mixture into lightly oiled individual molds and chill until set unmold yield eight servings pink arctic freeze two three ounce packages cream cheese two tablespoons mayonnaise two tablespoons sugar one one pound can whole cranberry sauce two cups one eight ounce can crushed pineapple drained one cup one half cup chopped texas pecans one cup whipping cream soften cream cheese blend in mayonnaise and sugar add cranberry sauce pineapple and pecans whip cream and fold into mixture pour into eight and a half by four by two and a half inch pan and freeze until firm unmold and slice end of section two section three of texas pecan recipes revised this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Lore. Texas Pecan Recipes Revised by Texas Department of Agriculture. Meat Dishes and Stuffing. Meatloaf with Pecan Stuffing. Meatloaf. One and one half pounds ground beef. One half cup chopped green pepper. One half cup chopped onion, one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, one cup white bread crumbs, one half cup milk, one egg, pecan stuffing, one egg, one fourth cup shortening, two cups whole wheat bread crumbs, one half cup chopped celery, one quarter teaspoon black pepper, three quarters cup meat stock or water, one half cup chopped Texas pecans. Combine meatloaf ingredients, mix thoroughly. Place half of this mixture in bottom of greased loaf pan. Combine pecan stuffing mixture, add pecans last. Mix thoroughly, spread stuffing mixture on top of meat mixture. Arrange remaining meat on top of pecan stuffing. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one and a half hours and cool slightly before removing from pan. Yield 10 servings. Ham salad. Two cups cubed ham, two cups diced celery or apple, one half cup salad dressing, one quarter teaspoon salt, one quarter cup chopped green pepper, one quarter cup ground Texas pecans one quarter cup chopped onion combine ham celery or apple and salad dressing chill thoroughly just before serving add salt green pepper pecans and onion yield six to eight servings hot turkey salad one cup cubed cooked turkey one cup chopped celery one cup chopped texas pecans one half cup mayonnaise, one tablespoon lemon juice, one tablespoon chopped onion, one half cup grated cheddar cheese, salt and cayenne pepper to taste, crushed potato chips. Mix all ingredients except chips. Place into a baking dish. Cover the top with crushed chips. Bake about 20 minutes or until bubbly around the edges at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake stuffed pork chops, one eighth cup butter or margarine, one half tablespoon chopped onion, one tablespoon chopped celery, four one inch thick pork chops with pocket cut, one half cup chopped Texas pecans, one and a half cup bread crumbs, soft, one teaspoon chopped parsley, one cup finely diced tart apples, one eighth teaspoon salt, saute onions and celery in butter, 
Combine remaining ingredients for stuffing. Season chops with salt and pepper. Pack stuffing in chops on both sides. Bake in oven for 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit in a covered casserole. Uncover and bake for 15 minutes. Nutty ham and cheese grills. Spread butter on one side of four pieces of bread. Broil on cookie sheet until golden brown on one side. Remove and brush other side with mustard or horseradish mustard. Place a slice of ham and slice of cheese on each piece of bread. Top with Texas pecans. Press nuts gently into cheese. Broil for two to three minutes or until cheese is bubbly. Serve hot. Yield four servings. Pecan Ham Roll-Ups Two cups cooked mashed sweet potatoes. Three tablespoons melted butter. One half cup crushed pineapple. Reserved juice. One half cup fine bread crumbs. Three tablespoons sugar. One half cup chopped Texas pecans. Three one-eighth inch thick slices smoked or boiled ham. Combine all ingredients except ham. Mix well. Spread this filling on the ham slices. Roll as for jelly roll, fastening with toothpicks. Place in baking dish and cover with reserved pineapple juice. Bake in 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven, one hour for smoked or 20 minutes for boiled ham, basting frequently. Yield three servings. Brown rice and nut dressing. One cup uncooked brown rice. Two and a half cups chicken broth, canned. One teaspoon salt. One cup chopped onions. One cup celery. One clove minced garlic. One teaspoon salt. Dash of pepper. One cup chopped Texas pecans. Combine rice, chicken broth, and salt. Heat to boiling, stirring once. Reduce heat and simmer. Covered for 45 minutes. Cook onions, celery, and garlic in butter until tender. Stir in cooked rice. Add seasoned salt, pepper, and pecans. Serve with baked breast of chicken. Yield six servings. Nut stuffing. Moist type for 10 to 12 pound turkey. One half cup butter. One half cup chopped onion. One cup chopped Texas pecans, one quarter cup chopped parsley, one cup chopped celery and leaves, two teaspoons salt, one half teaspoon pepper, one teaspoon poultry seasoning, eight cups soft bread crumbs, one cup stock or water, two eggs beaten. Melt butter in a nine inch skillet, add onion, cook until soft. Add pecans, parsley, celery, and leaves, salt, pepper, and poultry seasoning. Mix. Add bread crumbs and mix. Remove from heat. Add stock or water and eggs. Toss lightly. Yield about eight cups. End of section three. Section 4 of Texas Pecan Recipes Revised. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Texas Pecan Recipes Revised by Texas Department of Agriculture. Cakes and Pies. Fluffy Pecan Pound Cake. 2 cups butter, 2 cups sugar, 10 egg yolks at room temperature, 1 teaspoon vanilla, 1 half teaspoon salt, 4 and 1 half cups sifted cake flour, 1 half teaspoon cream of tartar, 2 cups chopped Texas pecans, 10 egg whites. Glaze, 1 half cup confectioner sugar, 1 half cup milk. Cream butter until very light. Add sugar and gradually beat until fluffy. Beat in 10 egg yolks, one at a time. Sift flour, salt, and cream of tartar. Add to butter mixture slowly, mixing only until well blended. Whip egg whites until stiff but not dry. Fold into batter. 
fold in two cups of chopped texas pecans bake at 325 degrees fahrenheit for one hour cool for five minutes before turning out of pan beat glaze mixture until well blended pour sugar glaze slowly over top of warm cake white fruit cake three quarter pound margarine two and one quarter cup sugar six eggs one at a time three and three quarter cup flour one teaspoon baking powder pinch of salt one and one half ounce lemon extract one half pound white raisins one pound chopped texas pecans jar of mixed candied fruit cream together margarine and sugar until smooth add six eggs one at a time then add flour reserving three-quarter cup and baking powder combine a jar of mixed candied fruit with a three-quarter cup flour and add fruit and flour to creamed mixture add a pinch of salt lemon extract white raisins and chopped texas pecans and blend well prepare two four inch by one half inch loaf pans by greasing and lining with waxed paper bake in a 350 degrees fahrenheit oven for one hour or until toothpick inserted near center comes out clean mocha pecan cake two cups butter one cup white sugar one and one half cup brown sugar six eggs one at a time four cups flour three teaspoons rum extract one teaspoon baking powder one quarter teaspoon salt one half cup milk one tablespoon instant coffee dissolved in three tablespoons hot water three cups chopped texas pecans soften butter then cream with white sugar and brown sugar beat in eggs one at a time sift flour baking powder and salt add alternately with milk instant coffee and rum extract fold in texas pecans pour batter into grease tube or bunt pan bake at 325 degrees fahrenheit for one and a half hours italian cream cake one half cup shortening one four ounce stick margarine two cup sugar five egg yolks two cup sifted flour one teaspoon soda one cup buttermilk one teaspoon vanilla one can flaked coconut one cup chopped texas pecans five egg whites stiffly beaten cream shortening and margarine add sugar beat until smooth add five egg yolks one at a time and beat well combine flour and soda add to creamed mixture alternately with buttermilk stir in vanilla flaked coconut and pecans fold in egg whites pour batter into three greased and floured eight inch pans bake at 350 degrees fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes or until cake tests done cool and frost with cream cheese frosting cream cheese frosting one eight ounce package cream cheese one half stick margarine one teaspoon vanilla one box sifted powdered sugar beat cream cheese and margarine together until smooth add vanilla and powdered sugar continue to beat until very smooth and creamy spread between the layers and around sides and on top of three layers if desired sprinkle chopped pecans and or coconut on cake sides and top fresh apple cake one cup salad oil two cups sugar three eggs three cups flour one teaspoon salt one teaspoon vanilla one and one half teaspoon soda one half teaspoon nutmeg one teaspoon cinnamon one half teaspoon cloves three cups diced peeled apples one cup chopped texas pecans cream oil sugar and eggs add flour salt vanilla soda nutmeg cinnamon and cloves and beat well fold in diced apples and chopped pecans bake in greased and floured two pan for approximately one hour at 350 degrees fahrenheit while still in pan place cake in a brown paper bag until cool chocolate chip cake one cup chopped dates one teaspoon soda one cup water one cup sugar one half cup butter two eggs one teaspoon vanilla one and three quarter cup flour one tablespoon cocoa one small package semi-sweet chocolate chips one half cup chopped texas pecans mix dates and soda boil water and pour over the dates 
cream sugar and butter until fluffy add eggs to the sugar and butter one at a time beating after each addition add vanilla blend flour and cocoa and add to the sugar mixture beat well fold in dates and semi-sweet chocolate chips pour into well greased and floured nine by thirteen by two inch baking pan sprinkle pecans over the top and press into batter bake at three hundred fifty degrees for thirty minutes cool pan and cover when cool banana nut cake one cup shortening three cups sugar four eggs one at a time two cups mashed bananas four cups sifted flour two cups chopped texas pecans one teaspoon vanilla eight tablespoons sour milk two teaspoons soda cream shortening and sugar add eggs one at a time add mashed bananas and sifted flour then add pecans and vanilla fold in sour milk and soda pour into a 10 inch tube pan bake for 30 minutes at 375 degrees fahrenheit texas pecan pie four eggs one half cup brown sugar three quarter cup light corn syrup one eighth tablespoon salt one teaspoon vanilla one tablespoon melted butter one cup texas pecan halves one nine inch unbaked pie shell beat eggs until frothy add brown sugar corn syrup salt vanilla melted butter and texas pecan halves pour into pie shell bake 10 minutes in 450 degree fahrenheit oven reduce to 350 degrees for about half an hour or until knife comes out clean end of section four Section 5 of Texas Pecan Recipes Revised This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Texas Pecan Recipes Revised by Texas Department of Agriculture Cookies Mocha Frosted Drops 1 half cup shortening 2 one ounce squares unsweetened chocolate one cup brown sugar one egg one teaspoon vanilla one half cup buttermilk one and one half cup sifted all-purpose flour one half teaspoon soda one half teaspoon baking powder one quarter teaspoon salt one half cup chopped texas pecans one six ounce package semi-sweet chocolate pieces melt shortening and unsweetened chocolate squares in a saucepan cool ten minutes stir in brown sugar beat an egg vanilla and buttermilk sift together flour soda baking powder and salt add to the chocolate mixture stir in texas pecans and semi-sweet chocolate pieces drop from teaspoon on greased cookie sheet bake at three hundred and seventy five degrees fahrenheit about ten minutes remove from pan and cool frost with mocha frosting below yield about three and a half dozen mocha frosting one half cup butter two tablespoons cocoa regular dry type two teaspoons instant coffee powder dash salt two and a half cup sifted confectioners sugar one and one half teaspoon vanilla enough milk about three tablespoons for spreading consistency cream together butter cocoa and stit coffee and salt beat in confectioners sugar vanilla and enough milk for spreading consistency no bake fudge cookies three cups oatmeal one teaspoon vanilla one cup chopped texas pecans two cups sugar one half cup cocoa one half cup milk one four ounce stick margarine mix oatmeal vanilla and chopped pecans in a large bowl in the saucepan bring to a rolling boil sugar cocoa milk and margarine pour second mixture over first stir thoroughly and drop by teaspoon on waxed paper cookies are ready to eat when cool yield about sixty cookies pecan sugar cookies 
one half cup butter one cup shortening one cup powdered sugar one egg two and one fourth cup flour one half teaspoon soda one half teaspoon cream of tartar one tablespoon milk one quarter cup crushed texas pecans decorator sugar enough for tops of cookies mix all ingredients except pecans and decorator sugar roll into small balls and place on a cookie sheet press down with a glass dipped in sugar sprinkle texas pecans and decorator sugar on the top bake at three hundred and fifty degrees fahrenheit for twelve minutes peach refrigerator cookies three-fourths cup butter one and one-half cup brown sugar one egg two and a half cups flour three teaspoons baking powder one teaspoon salt one-fourth cup milk one cup chopped dried peaches one cup chopped texas pecans cream butter brown sugar and egg sift flour baking powder and salt add to the creamed mixture alternately with milk add dried peaches and pecans mix well shape into rolls and wrap in waxed paper place in freezer until ready to bake slice thin and bake on cookie sheet in four hundred degrees fahrenheit oven for twelve to fifteen minutes pecan cinnamon cookies three egg whites one and a half cup sugar three-fourths teaspoon cinnamon four and a half to five cups ground texas pecans enough so dough will hold shape the size of a walnut beat egg whites and sugar for fifteen minutes add cinnamon mix thoroughly add texas pecans bake on greased cookie sheet one half inch apart for 40 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Pecan Crunch Bars 1 fourth cup shortening 1 half cup brown sugar 1 cup sifted flour 2 tablespoons flour 1 and a half teaspoon baking powder 1 half teaspoon salt 2 eggs, beaten 1 cup brown sugar 2 teaspoons vanilla 1 cup shredded coconut one cup chopped texas pecans first layer cream together shortening and brown sugar until light add sifted flour mix until crumbly press mixture evenly in greased pan seven by eleven by one and a half inches bake at three hundred and fifty degrees fahrenheit for fifteen minutes mix flour baking powder and salt mix together eggs brown sugar and vanilla Combine with dry ingredients and mix well. Add shredded coconut and chopped pecans. Pour the second layer on top of the first as soon as it comes from the oven. Bake about 30 minutes longer. Cut into 24 bars. Coffee Crescents 1 cup butter, softened. 1 cup sugar. Juice of 1 orange. 1 half teaspoon orange extract. 3 cups flour. 1 half cup chopped Texas pecans, 1 half teaspoon soda, 1 teaspoon baking powder, 1 cup sugar, 1 half cup honey, 3 fourths cup brewed coffee. Cream butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Add juice of orange and orange extract. Combine flour, soda, and baking powder. Add gradually to the creamed mixture. Chill dough one hour. Roll out to one-fourth inch thickness on floured board. Cut with crescent-shaped cookie cutter. Place on greased cookie sheets. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for eight minutes or until delicately browned. Cool. Combine sugar, honey, and brewed coffee in saucepan. Bring to boil and simmer five minutes. Dip the cooled cookies in honey mixture and sprinkle with chopped Texas pecans. Place on cake racks to drain. Yield four dozen. Santa's Thumbprint One cup shortening, one half cup sugar, one half cup brown sugar, firmly packed, one egg, one teaspoon vanilla, one half teaspoon almond extract, two cups flour, one fourth teaspoon soda, one fourth teaspoon salt, one and a half cups oats, quick or old-fashioned, uncooked, 
one six ounce package semi sweet chocolate pieces forty eight texas pecan halves beat shortening gradually adding sugar and brown sugar beat until fluffy add egg vanilla and almond extract sift together flour soda and salt stir into creamed mixture blend in oats shape dough into small balls and place on ungreased cookie sheets make a hollow in each ball bake in a preheated three hundred and seventy five degrees fahrenheit oven for ten to twelve minutes melt semi-sweet chocolate pieces in top of double boiler spoon melted chocolate into center of each cookie top with pecan half chill until chocolate is firm yield four dozen pecan tassies one three ounce package soft and cream cheese one half cup softened butter one cup sifted flour one egg three-fourths cup brown sugar one tablespoon softened butter one teaspoon vanilla one fourth teaspoon salt one half cup texas pecans blend cream cheese in one half cup butter in mixing bowl stir in flour chill one hour shape into twenty-four small balls place in ungreased one and three-fourths inch muffin pans press dough against the bottom and sides of the pan sprinkle pecans over the dough beat together egg brown sugar one tablespoon butter vanilla and salt until smooth spoon egg mixture into dough and top with enough texas pecans to cover top bake at three hundred and twenty five degrees fahrenheit until filling a set about twenty five minutes cool remove from pans yield two dozen texas honey balls one cup butter one half cup honey two cups flour one teaspoon salt two teaspoons vanilla two cups chopped texas pecans cream butter add honey flour salt and vanilla mix well add texas pecans chill Roll into small balls and bake on greased cookie sheet at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Yield four dozen. End of section 5section 6 of Texas Pecan Recipes Revised. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Texas Pecan Recipes Revised by Texas Department of Agriculture Candies Best Ever Pecan Candy 2 cups sugar 1 cup buttermilk 1 teaspoon soda two teaspoons vanilla, one and one-half cup chopped Texas pecans. Combine sugar, buttermilk, and soda in a large saucepan. Cook over low heat the soft ball stage, 236 degrees Fahrenheit on candy thermometer. Remove from heat and cool for five minutes. Add vanilla and Texas pecans. Beat until slightly thickened. Drop by teaspoonful onto waxed paper. Pecan Roll 2 cups sugar 1 cup brown sugar 1 eighth teaspoon salt 1 cup light cream 1 quarter cup corn syrup 2 tablespoons butter Powdered sugar Enough to dust pastry board one half cup chopped Texas pecans. Cook sugar, brown sugar, salt, cream, and corn syrup until mixture forms a soft ball when dropped in cold water. Remove from fire. Add butter. Cool. Beat until creamy. Turn out on pastry board dusted with powdered sugar. Knead until firm. Shape into roll and roll in Texas pecans. Press nuts firmly into candy. Keep in a cool place until firm enough to slice. Martha Washington Candy 
one stick melted margarine, two cups chopped Texas pecans, one can sweetened condensed milk, one small can coconut, one and one half box powdered sugar, one large package chocolate chips, four ounces paraffin. Mix margarine, Texas pecans, sweetened condensed milk, coconut, and powdered sugar. Drop small pieces on waxed paper. Refrigerate for four hours. Melt in double boiler chocolate chips and paraffin and mix together well. Using a toothpick, dip each piece into melted chocolate chips and paraffin. Pecan Clusters 1 quarter cup butter or margarine, 1 half cup sugar, 1 egg, 1 and 1 half squares unsweetened chocolate melted, 2 teaspoons vanilla, 1 half cup flour, 1 quarter teaspoon baking powder, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 and a half cups broken Texas pecans, cream, butter, and sugar, add egg, unsweetened chocolate, and vanilla. Mix well. Sift flour, baking powder, and salt. Stir into creamed mixture. Add Texas pecans. Drop from teaspoon onto greased baking sheet. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Yield one and a half dozen. Creamy pralines. 2 cups sugar, 1 cup brown sugar, 1 half cup milk, 1 quarter cup butter, 1 quarter teaspoon salt, 3 cups chopped Texas pecans. Combine sugar, brown sugar, milk, butter, and salt in saucepan. Bring to a rolling boil. Add Texas pecans. Continue cooking to the soft ball stage. Remove from heat. Stir until the candy looks creamy. Spoon out onto waxed paper to cool. End of section 6. End of Texas Pecan Recipes Revised by Texas Department of Agriculture.